Okay, so today I'm going to be demonstrating how to make a piece of land art at home using just little materials you might find at your house like toothpicks or Q-tips or paper clips or just anything that you might find that you might want to use. So first you're going to start by gathering your different materials, which I've already gone ahead and done. And then you're going to brainstorm how you want your piece of land art to look like. This may, you may want to look up some land art examples. So you can Google some of John Foreman's land art for inspiration, or you might just Google other land artworks to find patterns for inspiration. Then you can begin arranging your piece of land art with your selected materials. I already know what I'm going to do, so I'm just going to start off. I'm going to use this roll of tape as a base because it'll be easier to make a perfect circle uh, using the tape rather than trying to measure it with my eyes. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take these Q-tips and I'm going to start <laughs> reaching them <laughs> around the tape in a circle and I'm going to be very careful to make sure each of the cotton ends are touching each other so that when I move the tape it is all one solid circle and doesn't have any holes. You don't have to use q-tips if you don't want to. You could use coins you don't even have to design. You definitely want to look up your own. But remember, John Foreman's land art typically included organic shapes or radial or circular motions. Let me try to speed this along so you guys aren't here for 20 minutes watching me put Q tips into a circle. And as you're working, your ideas may change. So don't be afraid to play around the material with the materials if something doesn't work out. I probably spent three hours this morning just to make three designs. So you definitely, it is okay to take your time. You want it to look good. And as you're working, be sure to remember the elements of art and principles of design. So you want your pieces to be balanced and have unity. Just ignore my dog. <laughs> She's being silly. And you also want your pieces to not look Mod Podge together. So, I now have a perfect circle of Q-tips, but that's not interesting enough. So, I'm going to take some toothpicks and just start filling in space um, to create a little bit of variety, which is one of your principles of design. I know we haven't gone over those yet, but just to expand your vocabulary. This is going to make this piece look more interesting. If I can grab the Q-tip that time. <laughs> These pieces do not have to be perfect by any means, but you definitely want to put a lot of thinking into them. Otherwise, 
it's not really interesting so much as just a blob of random household objects. Now, if you're looking at this, you can see that there's a pattern going on of a Q-tip, then a toothpick, then a Q-tip, then a toothpick. It's going to help to create unity in the piece. And it also hits another element principle of repetition. And from what we have, is it's pretty interesting, but I just want to spice it up a little bit more. So I am going to add a few coins to the outside. Just to build on my circular motion that I have, inspired by John Foreman. And just to add more variety, I'm going to use different coins that I have found. And I'm going to try and line them up into a circle as best as I can. Remembering spacing. There. Now... This is also pretty interesting, but I'm just going to keep adding because I feel like this is a lot of empty space. So I'm going to add on with more coins so that they don't look so random on the outside. They're also repeated on the inside. Try to line these up so that they fit right. But the square is a little too geometric, so I'm going to loosen it up a little bit by adding a few more coins because land art is very organic. So I'm gonna keep that in mind and have irregular and natural shapes. And I need one more penny. Which I'm going to grab really, really quick. And then once I have that there, I have now made a full piece of land art just using things that I found in my house. <laughs>